Okay, so we're going to do an example here with the correlation coefficient. It says find the correlation coordination for data summarized in this table. Well, if we recall, we just show that the correlation coefficient is equal to the covariance over the square root of the variance of x and y. Now, this is not in the formula booklet as such. It has a slightly different one, but this is also true, which I've just previously shown you. So re recall, the covariance is equal to this calculation here. And so earlier on, we started to do some of these calculations. So we're actually going to have to do some of these values here. So expect the value of x, y. If you recall, it's 2 times 3 times 0 0.01, times 0 0.1, plus 5 times 3. 5 times 3 times 0 0.3, plus 4 times 2 times 0 0.2, plus 5 times 4 times 0 0.4. And when I do all that and I add it all up, I end up with 14.7. I also need to find this calculation here, which means I need to find the expected value of x and the expected value of y. Well, I can recognize that this is 0 0.3 and this is 0 0.7. So the expected value of x is simply going to be 2 times 0 0.3 plus 5 times 0 0.7, which I calculated out to be 4.1. Similarly, the expected value of y is, well, this is 0 0.4, this is 0 0.6, so it's 3 times 0 0.4 plus 4 times 0 0.6, which is calculated to be 3.6. So now I have this part, this part, and this part of so the covariance, that's the top. Next, I need the variance of x the variance of y. Well, here's my variance formula. So if I'm going to find the variance of x, if I'm going to find the variance of x, I take my, my x value, I square it. I take my x value, I square it, times 0.3. So 2 squared times 0 0.3 plus 5 squared times 0 0.7. This is going to be subtracted from expectation squared, 4.1 squared. When I do that, I end up with a value of 1.89. Similarly, the variance of y is 3 squared times 0 0.4 plus 4 squared times 0 0.6, and this value is going to be subtracted from the 3.6 squared, which I know is, if I'm looking at my notes here, ends up being 0 0.24. So now we're ready to put it all together. So rho is equal to 14.7 which is expectation of xy minus 4.1 times 3.6, these two expectations, divided by the square root of the variance of x, 1.89, times the variance of y, which is 0 0.24, which when I crunch that through, I end up with negative 0 0.0891. One, I believe, is the final digit. And so when I look at this, there is a negative association, but it's incredibly weak. Um, there's not a strong relationship there. And so this is just an example of how you could actually do this calculation to find rho. It comes from all the values there. It's quite, the computations are quite simple, but it's easy to make a careless mistake. Let's try another example. Prove that if x and y are independent random variables that rho equals zero. Well, if that's true, I know covariance of x, y is equal to the expectation of x, y minus mu x, mu y. But if my, my variables are independent, then it is true 
that these this is equal which was shown ages ago in some video so this is equal to expectation of x times the expectation of y well that is the expectation of x this is the expectation of y and so it ends up being zero